Good afternoon. This is the first training in Ingenuity for today's session. We are going to look at how to create a course. Uh, first, we will log in. So if you click on, you're going to go to Ingenuity.com and click on Log In. And then you're going to click on Educators. And then you log in. You'll see my login information already pops up. We will get you your login information and your password uh, also today. Okay, this is the dashboard that you will see. This is where you go when you first log in. In order to uh, create a course, you can hover over courses and go to manage courses. Courses and then manage courses. And this list will populate with all of the courses available to us through Ingenuity. You can see there are quite a few. Um, if you would like to create a class for you to use, um, you can narrow it down um, using filters. If you click on filters, you can go into subject. So let's say you wanted to go into social studies, uh, click apply. And that will bring up all the social studies coursework that is offered. Uh, you can click through this list. Let's say I wanted to create some work for uh, my government class. We're going to want to look uh, the, at the abbreviations here. Wherever it says CR, that course is designed for credit recovery. Wherever it says IC, that's designed through Ingenuity for initial credit. We very rarely use the initial credit options for any of our programming because most of the program we use our online resources for are for credit recovery. However, you can look at the initial credit pieces because there's more content. And where there's more content, there may be some more stuff you can use. So for the purposes of this demonstration, we're going to go ahead and use an initial credit uh, selection because you may want to look through what they have and use some of it in your courses. Or you may find some more, there's more options for you to find something for a student who may need some extra help. So I'm going to select U.S. government for initial credit. And let's say I want to just use it for my own class. You're going to click customize and you're going to create a new course based on this course. By doing that, you are essentially cloning that course so that you can do with it what you will um, and you, you can make it yours. So click create course based on this course which will bring up another window right here at the top where it says customize course you'll need to make give it a name that makes sense to you that you'll know that you can come back to um, so US government and then we'll call it um, SIP day presentation just for this class you'll probably want to use your name or initials or something so that people know it's yours and then we're gonna go through and you can see all the content that this has so there's um, introduction to American government, the Constitution. So let's say maybe we wanted to use something for Constitution Day um, next year or in the future. And we can do the drop down and it shows all the different lessons that we have for the Constitution. Uh, principles in the preamble, federalism, Congress, executive branch, judicial branch, all of that stuff. There's content on all of that. So you could clone a course and if you had a student that really just needed some help preparing for the Constitution test on the judicial branch. You could uncheck all of these except for the where it says the courts. And what I would recommend once we once you've done that, you can uncheck everything else. And we can name this course Judicial Branch Review. And now we've created a course where the only lesson is a 31 minute refresher on what it says in Article 3 of the Constitution. Okay, so, and let's even just go ahead and do that. Let's say SIP Presentation Day, um, Judicial Branch. So it's not really a course per se, it's, it's simply one lesson. Um, but if you wanted to customize something for an individual student or have a set of customized units available, that would be a way to do it or you could clone the entire course if you would like. Doing it this way would allow you to assign this to a specific student or to specific students and they would be able to log in and go through that lesson. Okay, so let's, um, let's get, since we have some errors. Um, oh yeah, it's important to click save under where it says customize course. So we click save uh, and that's our fairly strange name for a course. Click publish course. Okay, click publish again. And this is where we check our course options. 
in here we can we notice normally there'll be a lot more options for passing thresholds but since this is only a one unit lesson there's only a quiz in there there's not going to be a test but you can set your passing threshold so if you want the student to continue through this content until they get a 70 percent you would change it you would leave this at 70 you could change it to 80 or any number between 0 and 100 to suit your needs you could also change the weights but since this is you know this is kind of a unique situation where it's just one unit the weights aren't quite as important and really if you're kind of just having a student do it as a reinforcement you may not even really need to worry too much about the grades that's completely up to you uh, but once we get down to the bottom we'll cl click submit all changes um, oh because there's no because there's only normally this would add up to 100 because there'd be a test in there that said 70 um, so we're just gonna make that say 100 and then submit all changes uh, do not change students currently assigned to this course. Uh, you can you can do that because then it won't alter if you've got other kids in there. We don't have any kids taking this course, so that one really doesn't matter. So we're going to click submit. Okay, all the changes were made successfully, so now we have this course. So if we go into our courses, go courses, manage courses, you will see that um, if you look at your course list, U.S. Government, SIP Day, Presentation, Judicial Branch. So this course right here is available to assign to a student. Okay, that's how you can customize courses based on content. And then in the next video, I will show you how you can assign those to students. But we'll pause here so in case anybody has any questions, and then we'll move on to the next piece.